what is going on guys your boy sister here bring you guys one of my favorite series back again I'm bringing back another series which is unknown tutorials if you guys don't know what that tutorial that whole thing is unknown tutorials it's about styles or uh, add-on effects that I think they're really cool and that are like like not have tutorials based on um, so yeah this is gonna be doing today so they're unknowns they're they're new I guess you can say if you want to say that but anyways um so yeah so what we're gonna be doing is teaching you guys how to do this little spike ball thing, which is actually really really cool. It's a really good cool add-on effect for your, your renders or whatever. Uh, you see how it's used here. It's kind of like this lava y like weird spiky ball thingy coming out. And uh, uh, so if you guys want to know the CC, the CC is my tweaked CC, and these materials are actually from my draw, uh, my distort material pack version two that I dropped about two days ago for five dollars and fifty cents. So yeah, if you want to get those two things, which is the tweaked CC and or the material pack that's easy you can go just go to the description below and click on it and then purchase it if you want to purchase it that's all on you but uh yeah this this is just these ugh, sexy sexy materials i swear uh so i'm just gonna show you the pack really really quickly uh destroy material pack version 2 this is what you're gonna open up to 15 materials really really nicely done displaced perfectly it's just uh mind you that the displacement does increase your render time by like at least like 30 percent um depending on what your cpu running and how your computer acts it's gonna take a little bit way way longer than you expect um, so anyways, also I have the 15 materials undisplaced, so that if you want to still use a material without displacement, you could. So there's 30 materials all together, so yeah, that's that's what it's going to you know, but yeah, let's get back to the tutorial though. So we're going to show you how to do this little spike ball thingy, and so yeah, let's get going. Uh, it's really, really simple. What you're going to have to need is the plug-in Greebler. If you don't have this plug-in by now, I don't know what's your problem, but um, yeah, so if you want to get that, simply just either type in how to install Greebler on whatever, download on Google or whatever, you'll find it super easy, really easy plug-in to get. So if you go to Griebler, and what you're going to need also is your solid shapes, and you need a platonic. Uh, what you do now is just drag your platonic inside your Griebler, and go to your Griebler, go to stock Griebler, and then just uncheck this generate Griebler. So these little thingies right here, you can see these little thingies, they won't uh, appear anymore. And what you do now is just go to base, and then you want to change all these to zero, the height and bevels, minimum and maximum. And then once you do that, you just want to go back to your maximum for your bevel, change it to 100, and then change your minimum for your bevel back to 100 also. And uh, what you do now is you just, this is it, this is basically it. Uh, this is the spike ball, it's really, really cool, it's really simple, and it's like really simple, but it's also really cool, also, because you can also customize it a little bit. So if I went to the platonic, and I went to segments, and I'm on like this type right here, uh, if I put the segments up, you can actually see, makes even more little spiky thingies, and it's actually really cool if you want to like get more, just, I don't know, just cool, it looks cool, it looks cool to me, I mean, jeez, you see this? Uh, also, you still go to the Griebler and go to your height and then kind of fix it up a little bit. Uh, make it look really weird and it makes this kind of looks like a like freaking meat cleaver hammer thingy jigger but anyways you can do that or you can go to the platonic right and then you can go to the type and then you can also drop down and have bulky and whatever uh, this is one I probably use on this render right here you see the bulky spikes that's what I use for that and it's like really simple really simple stuff but it's actually really really cool for an add-on effect for your renders so if you want to do that you can also use any of these other types thingies but these kind of don't really work out uh, as well maybe I mean unless you want to make it work out uh, this one's actually pretty cool um, yeah, that's pretty dope. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this like little simple tutorial on on the tutorials. I'm gonna bring the series back. Also, I'm gonna try and be active again, um, because I just had a little a little break or whatever. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy, and I'll talk to you guys later. So switch you out. Peace. Do not forget to like this video and comment and subscribe. So yeah. But any oh, phew, before I end this thing, oh my God, the goddamn support you guys are giving me is ridiculous. I just can't. I cannot. I cannot. Um, I probably gained about 1k subscribers in the last week, which is ridiculous. I just want to say thank you guys so, so much. I thought I want to just say that before I end this video. Anyways, thank you guys so much. Hope you guys enjoyed and enjoyed a little new add-on effect that you can use for your renders. And I'll talk to you guys later. So, switch you out.